so today I'm really excited to do a fall look. I'm keeping the lips super bold and just perfect looking, really. Um, that shade is just absolutely everything for the fall. And I will share with you towards the end of the video what the lip is. And then just keeping everything on the eye super soft, using most um, of the colors from the Lorac Pro Palette. One shade from the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. It's just the one of the lighter shades. Not really necessary for this look. I just wanted that particular kind of sandy shade for the lid. Um, but it's definitely something that you can find something very similar in your collection. Um, so you don't need both palettes. So I did film my whole face routine earlier today. So I didn't show my face products at the end. But for blush, I'm wearing my Tarte Exposed blush and it's part of their Amazonian clay. It's a beautiful rosy tan color so that's what I'm wearing um, and I will list it below with everything else. I love the way the look came out and I hope that you do too. It's keeping up with the fall trend and this is a big thing now to wear really dark like vampy lips. So I'm gonna just stop rambling. I'm gonna get into the look and I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you want to see it then keep watching. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to be going back and forth with um, two palettes. It's not necessary for you to go out and buy those, so please don't buy the palettes. I will describe the colors, and then you can find something in your collection. The whole point of this look is to keep everything really soft, because here in a little bit, we're going to go kick it up a couple notches with the lips. So, the first thing I'm going to do is start off with my Lorac Pro Palette. This is the original one. And I'm going to be um, using a Sigma E55 shadow brush, which is called the Eye Shading Brush. And I'm going to go in with the color Cream, which is pretty much a skin tone color. Would work fine. Any brand would do just fine. And I'm going to kind of go under the brow bone with that and kind of do a little bit of highlighting. Everything is soft and matte on the lids today just because this color that we're going to be using on the lip is going to be so beautiful. Taking that same brush from Sigma and I'm going to go in with the color Nude, also from the original Pro Palette, which is a soft, kind of nude obviously, but it has a touch of pink. And I would say it's a more satiny finish than if you were to use Champagne, which would give you more of like a super dewy, luminous inner corner. So I'm just going to kind of put that in the inner corner. You can also use your finger if you want. But it just gives a really soft, nice wash of color on the lid, or in the inner corner. Then I'm taking a Morphe S22 brush. It looks like this. It's super fluffy, very soft. And I'm going to start off with um, the color Taupe from the Lorac Pro Palette. And we're going to just add a little bit of this, tap off the excess, because um, you do get some fallout with these Lorac shadows. And I'm going to go into the crease with this. And it might look a little crazy. But this look is all about being soft and also having a really nice blended look. So just blend that back and forth, circular motions. I like to pull mine in a little bit towards the inner, which by this point you shouldn't have very much product on the inner part. Everything should be right on this outer corner of the eye. So we're going to come back to the crease in a moment, but I'm going to take a really soft, smaller, fluffy brush. This is the Morphe S12, so it's very similar to the S21, as you can see, but a little bit smaller, more of like a little baby brush. And then I'm going to go into the It Cosmetics palette, the Naturally Pretty palette, which looks like this. And I'm going to use the color Warmth, which is a soft kind of sand color. So something just kind of sandy. You don't have to buy the palette just for that one shade. So I'm just going to take some of that on that S12 color, tapping off the excess, and just kind of quickly buff that onto the lid. And then I'm also going to overlap taupe that we put in the crease with that shade. So it's going to add a little bit of a softer effect as well. And it's also going to help blend out any sort of edges if you have any. Alright, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with a liner brush, just any sort of liner brush, your favorite detail brush, and this one is synthetic. I'm going to start with the warmth shade from the um, It Cosmetics, so that kind of sand color that you use on the lid. Run that on the lower lashes. Hold on, let me bust out a closer mirror so that I can see what I'm doing here. And it's just a really, really soft shade, so it's not like super crazy intense. And then I'm going to overlap that with taupe, and that's the shade there. And I'm going to kind of go over that color as well. I 
then you just want to keep everything really soft around this lower lash line because it's going to be just, like I said, really soft in general. Okay, so for liner, I'm going to go in with some liquid. It's just what I prefer. I'm using the um, Kat Von D liner in Trooper, sticking really close to lashes. This is only for the effect of the false lashes so that the band is more hidden. Completely optional, you can skip it if you prefer to. It's not really a necessary step. I did do a little bit of a wing here um, just because I felt a little fancy today, but again, this is a totally optional step. Okay, so then I'm going to tight line a little bit. I'm using an Urban Decay liner. This is the color Black Velvet. It's um, their 24-7 velvet liner. I'm just going to kind of run that and kind of fill in any little gaps in between my lashes and the liquid liner so that it's more of a seamless blend once I have my lashes on. Then for some mascara, I'm going to do the Lash Discovery as usual on my bottom lashes. And then on the top, I'm going to use the Mali volumizing mascara. Um, this one from Mali is not my favorite. It really does nothing to the lashes, but I want both sides to be the same, so I'm going to just use it, but I'm not liking this at all. Not that great. Not as good as it's all hyped up on QVC, I think, in my opinion. But it works well if you're going to use lashes because it's a really... Um, I guess the brush is pretty good, but I don't like the formula. The formula is a little bit weird. Maybe it's just a little too wet for my preference. Okay, so before I add the false lashes, I do have just a touch of something a little bit deeper. So for that, you're going to need a really tiny little brush. And this is just one from Coastal Sense that I absolutely love for doing you know steps like this. I'm going to take the sable color from the Lorac Pro palette which is this shade right here. It's more of like a medium brown. Tap off the excess and kind of go right in here where you have your brow bone and just kind of use your wing if you did one as a guide. If not just lightly put it into the brow bone area. I mean not brown bone area, the crease area. Come on, Lexi, get with the program today. And then just kind of go back and forth to soften that. And this brush is so small that you can actually lay it sideways and kind of get it right into that little groove there. So you get just a little bit of something, but when you look down, you'll see it. And then, of course, um, I think it looks good when you have the false lashes on. And if you need to, you can just take a um, soft, you know, dual fiber brush, anything that's soft and fluffy that's clean, go around and kind of soften out the edges. And that's the whole look. So you can leave it like this for the daytime and do a, start, a super dark lip, a, you know, berry lip, whatever you want to do. But I'm actually going to put some false eyelashes. They'd be a little fancy today. So I'm going to use my favorite pair, which are the Demi Wispies from Salon Perfect. They come in a little pack like this from Walmart. And I use the Duo Lash Adhesive in the Dark Tone, so I'm going to pop those on and then be back to kind of do this lip. Okay, so while the glue is still doing its thing and drying, I do feel like um, we need to kind of work on this lip and kind of get the focus of this look going. So, I'm using the Buxom Lipstick in Menace. So they, it's a little mini. I got this last year in the Give Me More, Sephora Give Me More lip set. They do have a new one out this year, and this color is in there, so it is a repeat. And I will do a little swatchy swatch on the back of my hand. And there it is. It's a beautiful, kind of berry, but a little bit deeper, and it's just such a beautiful shade. And I have two sort of lip options, or lip liner options for you. If you want something that's a little bit more purple to add more purple tones to it, you can use the NYX liner in, lip liner in Prune. And that's this one here that's a little bit more purple. And then the one that is the most, I guess the closest that I have in my collection of liners, um, it's almost exactly the same, just a matte finish, is the lip liner from NYX in Plum. So that's what we're going to do um, for this lip today. Um, I had lip, li uh, lip balm on, so I took some of that off. You want to make sure your lips are really hydrated and not dry or patchy because the dark lip is going to accentuate that. So... I'm going to start 
lining my lip. So once you have the line, uh, your lips line, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in a little bit. Just taking the pencil kind of sideways. Now if you wanted to, you could just leave it like this or um, put some um, like a gloss over it. Not necessary to layer the lipstick because this will last a while. But I'm going to go on with this bad boy. That is a beautiful shade, really, really dark, but I love it. I have a little bit of highlight on my Cupid's Bow. It's from my contour kit from It Cosmetics. I'll link it below. And that is it. I just really, really like it. Um, I did use a little bit of liquid liner, um, the same one, over my lash band just to kind of hide it. And then I forgot to mention that I took the Tarte Emphasize Inner Rim Brightener and I went on my waterline just to create more of like a like a kind of like a doll eye effect making the eyes look bigger because this dark lip is really intense and I don't know I just like the the inner rim brightener with the lashes so that is it that is the fall look for this year I absolutely love it I will list all the products that I use down below and I will also link other previous fall videos that I've done so far this season and there will be more to come maybe one that's a little bit darker and more kind of sultry on the eye and then also a dark lip and some more colorful fall looks so I hope that you guys enjoy it let me know what you think about the look and I will see you guys very very soon